Lockie will know he's in deep, deep trouble. He does bet 600000 Can't be any good here. I can show my hand, right? And when I fold? Yeah. Montgomery gets the message. And he does fold his aces. Pretty good lay down, man. Wow. Well, Schwartz shows his leading set. Lockie in trouble. One card to come. Lockie's going to need a six. Six, baby. Six. Six. A what? Is it meant to be? <laughs> a six. 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 River card is a four of hearts. Sorry, Tim. Not a six. Tim Lockie eliminated in 23rd place. The likable amateur from Chicago had a great run. <laughs> Game, man. It was check and mate for the former chess hustler who just knocked off Lockie. Jeez, Elon Schwartz was now. indeed a chess shark at an early age, but was only recently introduced to the roller coaster poker pro lifestyle. <laughs> I met a guy, uh, Fat Nick. I was broke, and uh, Nick said, let's play some cards. And at the end of the weekend, I had about 12 grand, and that was it. Ever since then, I've been playing but I've been running bad for like two years. I had a lot of money and then I went broke and then I had a lot of money and I went broke. That's the way poker is. It drove me insane. It's really, really brutal when you're not winning. Yeah, I went nuts. It wasn't about the money, it was about freedom. So this year I was just praying that I would have a good run. I finally came. Come on, man. Now I feel like a, a great monkey's been lifted off my back and I, I wasn't sure if I would ever get someplace where I can get free, which is what I want, you know. So hopefully I win the tournament and just get clean of all this. Just hang out in the Caribbean with a hammock. You know, I once met a guy named Fat Nick. I was broke. He said, let's play cards. And at the end of the weekend, I was divorced. <laughs> All right. Action continues at the main event down to 22 players. Chip average over $6 million. Dennis Phillips, still the man to beat. Back at our featured table action on Kelly Kim with pocket deuces. Kim, a 31-year-old business analyst turned poker pro. Raises to 275000 Can two now. 10-5 off suit. Cantu, a 27-year-old lazy guy turned poker madman. 950. <laughs> a raise with 10-5 to 950,000. That's the Brandon we love. On to Dean Hamrick now. Hamrick with pocket aces. In the small blind. I'm all in. And a push. 725 here. Short on. Hamrick has just a little more than 2 million. Kelly Kim folds. Can you pull it in? He's really thinking about calling? It's about 2.3 to start the hand. 10-5, it's ugly. Almost 1.5 million to call. You don't have a pair, I'm supposed to call any two cards. Brandon got caught, but it's a big pot out there. He might not want to let go. You have tens or higher. I'm almost done, dead. Brandon says he, he played terribly the last couple days. He kept making bad reads. He was wrong again and again, but he was lucky here and there. <laughs> Hamrick stone-faced with those pocket aces. Could anyone tell me why I put myself in these situations every time? Brandon says sometimes his brain says fold, 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 but his mouth says call. Over and over and over, I do this to myself. Nobody ever sees the times that it works, though. I don't know, maybe it doesn't work. Well, Brandon might be priced in here. He's getting better than two and a half to one on his money. This will, if, if I call this and beat you, I'm just telling you, it's going to be the worst beat you've ever taken in your whole life. Just letting you know it's going to be that bad. Brandon's mouth trying to override his brain. God, there's over 2.2 in that pot. I just... <sighs> How much gamble do I have? Let's play some blackjack. This would be too much gamble. I call. Can two calls with a 10-5 against Hamrick's aces. Hamrick at risk, but pretty much the best scenario he can hope for. Oh. Yeah, bad read. If Brandon were up against a medium pair or just ace high, it's a different story. Let's go, baby, bro. Wow. Would this be the worst beat you've ever taken? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just hoping you had ace king. There was so much in there. I just... Brandon stunning yeah, the everyone, card. calling with 10-5. He's shocked to see the two aces. I'm going to puke. I know, I'm going to puke too cute. Brandon Cantu's high wire act trying to claim another victim. I almost want him to fold. Yeah. 
Dean getting support from his twin brother, Yale. Now the flop. Oh, and there's a five. There we go. That pairs can too. Here comes the Brandon Cantu Express. How about a nine? That would give him a straight draw. How about draw. a nine? How about an ace? Eight. How about an Come ace? On. Put a nine up there. Let's see how good I can really run. We've seen Brandon knock someone off with worse cards. I can run really good just to warn everybody. <laughs> Dean Hamrick, forewarned and at risk. Turn card now. Another eight aces up for Hamrick, stealing outs from Brandon. Horrible card. Stay in front of me. They don't want to see me. If this Two pair now would be no good for Brandon. He can only knock out Hamrick at this point with a river five. River's a ten, and Cantu did make his two pair, but Hamrick doubles up with aces up. Ten five cost Brandon half his stack. You're a sick puppy. The sick puppy now in serious trouble. Brandon tried to steal from the button, and then he wouldn't get away from it. Good time for aces? Indeed, a very good time for aces for Dean Hamrick, and even better, he got called by the 10-5. He's right, that would have been the worst beat I've ever taken. <laughs> Instead, it might have been the best and most important win Dean Hamrick has ever enjoyed. Daru Soharto has a great chance to knock off another player with Pocket Kings. He has Tony Judet in trouble holding two jacks. Judet needs a king or an eight for a straight to stay alive. River card is a five of spades. Judet eliminated in 22nd place. The Romanian takes home a quarter million dollars, and the accountant from Canada has become a force, knocking out a third of the field today, chipping up to nearly 11 and a half million. An accountant with chips. Haven't we seen this before? <laughs> Back at our feature table, action is folded to Dean Hamrick, fresh off his big double up against Brandon Cantu. Dean looks down at nine tray, and into the muck they go. Brandon might have played this. Joe Bishop, 6'5 of clubs. I love the sound of it, 330. I hate the sound of 330. That's when my kids get out of school. A raise to 330 from Bishop over to Eastgate now, King Jack of hearts. But not even my kids. She brought them along into the marriage. In the big blind. And he calls for 230 more. What, suddenly I'm a Ward Cleaver? <laughs> Here's the flop. Is deuce five ace, a pair of fives, and a flush draw for Bishop. And he bets 375000 Eastgate whiffed on the flop. His nickname is Icegate because when he plays poker, he is calm and icy. More than that, he pops it to a million. That is one calm, icy, and feisty 22-year-old. Well, Bishop will call for 625,000 more. All right. Yeah, 625,000. All right. Building a pot. I'll check. Bishop checks dark. Joe, anything but calm and icy. Turn card four of hearts. Bishop's fives are still good, and he adds a straight draw. Eastgate with his own heart flush draw. Bishop's expression, though, in the turn hit, telegraphing that he's got a pretty weak hand. Eastgate. That's 1.4 million. Big question is what would Brandon do? That's a big question here. I think we all know what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> Call. Bishop just calls. Whoa. It just feels like Eastgate now has the better hand. Uh, he has seized control of the pot by raising on the flop and then the Be kind. bet on the turn. River card, 10 of diamonds, misses Eastgate. Bishop with the check mark. Check. Eastgate can only win the pot by betting on it. Let's see if he picks up on Bishop's unease. No third bullet by Eastgate. He checks. Yeah. Oh, what do you got, bro? 